Alright, so here I'm going to do a tutorial about splitting up your bass frequencies to make your bass sound a little bit bigger and wider. And um, pretty much the idea here is um, just to keep the low frequencies and the high frequencies separate so that um, you can affect the high frequencies in a different way to the low frequencies and basically make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to open up an analog on a new MIDI track. And um, by default it gives you a sine wave uh, with oscillator 1 on and the amp is already on. So um, if I start creating notes in this MIDI clip, uh, to create a MIDI clip just highlight a section on the grid and press Command Shift M on Mac or Control Shift M on PC. Then double click the clip and you'll get this section down the bottom here which is your piano roll to start writing notes in. So if I start creating notes, you'll see that I just get um pure sign and after the note finishes there's a little bit of decay on it so I'll go in and I'll mess with the amp a little bit. I want it to be as loud as possible when it first uh, as for the duration of the note it has to be as loud as possible so I'll turn the sustain right up, uh, the attack all the way to five milliseconds and the release all the way down to zero. So then when I play the note it basically as long as the MIDI note is on, it's as loud as it can possibly be and it stops as soon as the MIDI note stops. So I'll just make a quick little bass line. I think the note needs to be a bit lower. Yeah, sweet, that's alright. I'll just use that for the sake of the tutorial. So, um, with the bass line, you probably want to use, depending on the kind of bass line, if it's more of an electro sort of thing, you might want to use a saw wave or a square wave, probably not a sine wave, unless you're just trying to create a sort of subby kind of bottom end type of feel. So, saw wave sounds like this. Bit harsher, and a square wave's harsher again. So, I might use that for the sake of this, and I'll turn the octave down again and see how that sounds. We'll go down another octave maybe. Uh, so, them low G's here, the uh, G sharps, they're sounding a little bit too low, so I might make them the octave higher. So they don't sound um grainy when they go down that low. Oh, maybe that one as well. Make that maybe make that an octave up. So that sounds alright. And then I might um turn the filter on and I might give it a bit of resonance and start mucking around with the frequency uh, automation of the filter. So I probably wanted to start off sweeping up from the lows. Let's quickly do this. I'll just duplicate this part of the envelope so I can get the same filter sweep happening on those three. And then I'll just duplicate the whole envelope. I'll drop it down into a new automation lane so I can just press Command D to duplicate. I'll just duplicate that four times. Uh, it seems to have a spike here that might cause clicks and stuff, so I'll just get rid of them. I'll get rid of the click and I'll, um, I'll replace it with a kick drum. See how that sounds. I'll make it about minus 12 because I know 
but this kick drum is sitting on 0 dB so it might be a bit loud and the synthesizer is already at minus 12 if you see here so that might fit in it won't be so loud so I'll name this channel kick, I'll name this bass yes that sounds pretty cool but um, the bass is a little bit um, kind of, it, it, it doesn't sound as big as it could be so what I like to do is I like to click on the device on my bass channel and press command G it puts it in a new instrument rack and then you've got these chains over here and what I like to do is call one bass low and that's going to be the low frequencies of our bass and then I'll duplicate it and I'll go bass high and then I'll duplicate it again and I'll go bass sub so I'll mute these for the second and so what we've got so far is just bass low and at the moment it's not bass low until I put an EQ just here in the end of the instrument rack and I drop the high frequencies to about 250 hertz hmm. oops I've accidentally put it in the bass sub chain so I'll get rid of that, I'll put it in the bass low chain so I'll drop the frequencies to 250 hertz. So you can see it's just acting as a it's just acting as a low sort of subby thing at the moment. Then I'll go to bass high and I'll kind of do the same thing except this time I'll drop the EQ here and I'll get everything above 150 hertz. And the reason why I don't go 250 hertz is because then if it interacts with this one, it's going to end up that you've got a bit of a notch happening at 250 hertz because the way these EQs work is they don't have a decibels per octave slope on them. So basically, at minus 3 dB is where it's cutting 250 hertz. So you're going to have like a kind of 3 dB drop around 250 hertz. So I like to go a bit lower than that. I go to about 150, so the, that whole frequency around there sort of meshes together and just creates like a fat low mid sound. So that's both of them playing together. This is just bass low. This is just bass high. Both and it feels like it's missing a bit of sub still, so I like to go in and just create a, a sine wave in the bass subsection. And then I'll play that with them and see how that sounds. I might just turn the filter off for that one actually. Yes, that sounds pretty good. And then what we're going to do with the bass high channel is just distort it a little bit. So I might grab the overdrive. I'll open the filter right up and I'll turn the drive and the dry wet right down for the moment. And I'll just slowly turn them up until I think it sounds good. Yeah, so that's probably enough for the moment. Then I might put a phaser on the end of that. And I like to use the space setting. And I might turn the dry weight down and start turning it up until I think it's enough. And I might put a bit of an LFR on it, turn the LFR mount up. Turn the dry weight down a little bit actually. Yeah, so that sounds pretty good. And I might put a chorus after that. Get a bit of a time difference happening. And I might put a filter delay after that. You can see the chorus has widened it up a little bit because the left and the right is playing slightly differently. And um, it's the exact same thing I'm going to do with the filter delay. By default, I've got my default preset to open as this already. So I've right clicked it in the past and said to save as default preset after I've tweaked it to how I like it. But essentially, like, let's just say it opens up like this. What you want to do is you want to get rid of the left and the right. You want to open up the filters on the left and the right. And then you want to turn them both onto time. 
and one of them you want to play at about 10 milliseconds and one you want to play at 1 millisecond and then turn the feedback up a little bit and make all these levels 0 dB and then panning left and right so pretty much what's going to happen here is the signal in the left channel is going to play 10 milliseconds after the signal in the right channel or 9 milliseconds after and it, basically it's just going to make it sound a lot wider because um, you're getting interaural time difference happening so this is what it's like without it and this is what it's like with it just sounds like much more spread out and big so um, if you take what we had at the start I'll just duplicate a channel and um, I'll get rid of bass high and bass sub and I'll get rid of this EQ on bass low so we've basically just got what we started with and then what I'll do is I'll go to key mappings and um, I'll make a mapping say M the letter M for both of these and and I'll turn one of them off so whenever I play, uh, press the letter M it just switches between those two channels so we don't have to wait um, any amount of time to listen to the difference between them so this is what it sounded like before and this is what it sounds like now it just sounds much more interesting I think so if we play the kick with that it's probably a bit loud yeah, so that's how you um, split up your bass frequencies to make bass sound louder. Cheers. Take care.